Hey yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy MG the producer and I am back with a new video and this time is going to be a tutorial on the MPC series. So this one's going to be about exporting your tracks, bouncing out your audio and your stems to your DAW and being able to get it inside of Logic Pro, whether it's Reason, whether it's Studio One, it really does not matter. So um, the key element when it comes to actually exporting out your tracks is going to um, be in the sequence to be honest with you so let me show you guys what i'm working on i'm sure you guys heard this in my previous video so i'm just using it as a demonstration so the way that my song is broken down right now if i were to go ahead and do the you know export and try to go ahead and uh, bounce everything out and even did the explode tracks um what's going to end up happening is that i was i would i would find a location i think it's you know somewhere here um i would save everything out but the problem is that it's only going to save out for the length of my sequence so if my main sequence is four bars it's going to go ahead and explode everything for me but it's only going to explode everything out for those four bars for that particular sequence don't forget guys we're actually building a song here so when you're actually doing an export it's not going to go ahead and grab the song format and do the export for you it's literally going to go ahead and just grab a sequence like this explode it and you're gonna have this broken down track by track layer by layer now that's awesome and everything if you want to go ahead and do your arranging inside of the doll or you want to go ahead and do your arranging inside of a different workstation but that's not what we're doing here with the MPC, right we actually want to go ahead and make our complete tracks here and then we want to export the stems to our entire tracks out so the beauty of the MPC is that it also makes that easy as well so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this feature here called convert sequence we're going to go ahead and convert this sequence to number 12. now what did that do that basically went ahead and grabbed that whole entire song that you guys were just looking at while i was in song mode and it turned into one big long sequence if you look here it's actually 72 bars um, it gave it the name song one and it actually has the same layout and everything for my original track so what you're going to do from this point now is go ahead and now do your export feature with your explode tracks you can separate your programs um, export out your stereo out if that's what you're looking to do and now if you look here when it comes to your start bar and when it comes to your end bar um, it's going to be 72 bars long this time around opposed to just being four bars or eight bars whatever you were using when you were formatting and creating your beat in the first place so that's one helpful trick when it comes to bouncing and exporting things out of the akai and pc series it doesn't matter if it's the x the one or the liar um, it's all pretty much going to work the exact same way so for another tip I'm going to go ahead and give you guys, it's going to be over here pretty much in your main, uh, you know, your menu settings, uh, go over here to, you know, your preferences and you're going to want to actually come down to, I want to say it's going to be project defaults. Nope. I apologize guys. It's going to be project load and save. I apologize. Uh, you can go ahead and enable you to go ahead and do a automatic save it's going to go ahead and happen every five minutes or you can actually go ahead and change to every one minute two minutes or every 10 minutes me personally sometimes i'll go ahead and set it on 10 minutes um one of my most frequent comments that i get on a lot of my npc videos is going to be the the fact that pretty much you know um, you know a lot of people lose their projects uh midway so this is a good way to be able to alleviate some of that pain and that's going to go ahead and turn on the uh, auto save feature all right guys so here's another tip for you guys go to preferences go to project defaults and update your default tempo i don't know about you guys but i never start beats at 120 i'm usually around the 90 range so i personally like to put my tempo around 90 and i like to put my default sequence bars to four um so at this point everything that i do from this point forward if i create a whole new project or if i start at the npc for the first time my bpm will be at 90 and my default bars will be set to four because i'm always having to change it from two to four or four to eight or who knows what so um we can go ahead and just do you know the default tempo to 90 and every time we have uh you know a new session we're at least in a hip-hop tempo unless you're doing some double time then that's a different story <laughs>
so what you guys were just listening to was gonna be a beat that I made entirely inside of the MPC using the Hype expansion plugin that came uh, with the 2.10 update. My initial thoughts on it, I think it's pretty amazing. I didn't wanna give a review on it or anything just yet. I'm still playing with it. I'm still tweaking it, creating patches, doing things with it. So more to come when it comes to that, but I just wanted to show you guys a beat that I was working on that I used nothing but the internal um, either expansions or internal plugins that come with the MPCX so you can be able to see what it's capable of doing. These are the same sounds that you can use inside of the one and the live. So we're all pretty much rocking the same gear, just in different formats. So once again, thank you guys very much for rocking with me. I'm still rocking with you guys. This is your boy, MG, the producer, and I'm out. Peace.